Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a morning flow for energy. Let's flow with strength and ease. class with coming to the front of the mat at the top of the mat rolling the shoulders back and down closing the eyes quieting the mind for a moment and shifting the awareness to the breath the shoulders back and down lifting through the crown of the head feel your hips lining up aligning maybe extending the tailbone extending the tailbone slightly down if you need to so check in see if you need to connecting connecting with your core strength your powerhouse drawing it in Nice deep ujjayi breaths. Mula Bandha as you inhale. Relax as you exhale. Deepening and allowing the inhalation and the exhalation to lengthen in duration. hands over the heart making a commitment to keep coming back to the breath to keep the breath deep and to keep the awareness on the breath throughout the practice staying outside of the mind and in the heart in the body let's bend the knees inhale reach over the head take chair with ease feel the ease in chair rather than the effort allowing yourself to sink in chair effortlessly and take it easy here go as deep as you want to go it's the first pose of the class so you can be high up in your chair just warming up slowly to the practice great from here we're going to bend the knees and lower down in a forward bend shake the head keep the knees either slightly bent or bent soften the belly and you can shake the shoulders here and wiggle the sides of the body the legs the torso kind of allowing it to lengthen wiggling out of your habitual shape If you feel some areas a little stuck, a little inflexible, just wiggle out of it. And let's spread the fingers wide open. Really important here is to pay attention to your hand alignment because we love planks, so we should do proper wrist alignment it ideally at all times step it back plank press into the space between the thumb and the index finger and that assures that you are taking a really really good plank with a really good wrist alignment spreading the fingers wide open pressing into the base of each finger, pressing into your heels and now, now, now these are the two energetic points of the body, the ends, the 
hands and the feet so everything in between connects it's connecting with integrity and strength and again I love to think of strong poses as easy poses flowy poses so finding the ease in this pose you're not struggling here ugly strong but just effortless strong great already connecting with your powerhouse feeling powerful effortlessly powerful lower down chaturanga upward facing dog press your toes down and extend the tailbone chaturanga really pull the belly in draw it in down dog lifting the tailbone as high as you can keep pressing into the space between the thumb and the index finger nice complete exhalations coming back to your breath let's roll back forward into plank drawing the navel in with intention inhale the right leg up and let's bring the knee between the elbows one two three keep the body really steady four five round the back step it through high lunge from here we're just going to sweep forward all the way to the right ankle and take the left leg up in the air so straight into a balancing pose and step it back high lunge a really beautiful high lunge one more time sweeping forward ankle hold and back exhale sweeping forward inhale high lunge should we go two more times let's go left hand on the floor twist press the back heel away from you reach over the head with the right hand both hands on the ground knee between the elbows squeeze it as high as you can pull 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 step it back gorgeous so here we're gonna get take a chaturanga and back to plank and let's take the left leg up knee between the elbows now instead of moving the whole body with the leg stay as steady as you can and just bring it in one calm two three four squeeze five hold round step it through come up high lunge and here we're gonna do five sweeping forward movements to the ankle exhale as you sweep forward inhale as you come back up and so forth and do it at your own pace five of them high lunge right hand on the floor twist reach over the head bring both hands down squeeze your left knee into your chest 
pull the belly in, spread the fingers open, press into the space between the index finger and the thumb, step it back. Let's go for one chaturanga, two plank. Take the right knee between the elbows, squeeze it, squeeze. And extend back, two, three, four, five, rounding, stepping through, high lunge. And again, working with your breath, seven, sweeping to the ankle motions. This class is <laughs> going to be no joke. I'll prepare with my own breath and count your own breath. Uh, go with your own breath, try to slow it down, the exhalation and the inhalation, and just move with the breath. Let the breath guide you here, big breath in. Lunch prayer twist. Soften the belly. Hands on the ground. Take a little arm balance. Prayer lunch twist. Hands on the ground. Squeeze your knee into your chest. Five knee tucks. Two, three, four, five. Step it down, chaturanga to plank. And let's bring the left knee in, squeeze it in. And let's go. Knee tucks. Two, three, four, Step it through. High lunge. Take a nice break. A moment to collect yourself to, to come back to the breath. Now, don't worry if you're not very graceful with this transition. It is a difficult one. Just give it a go. Big breath in. Seven. Lunge and same prayer twist. Take a little arm balance. Body two, three, four, 
three, four, five, chaturanga, upper dog, hold it, lengthen. You can look over your shoulder, over the other, one more time. Chaturanga, down dog. Lifting the tailbone high. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. From here we're gonna move with one sweeping motion, left hand to the floor in front of the right foot and take the right arm up, revolving half moon and back to high lunge, exhale forward, revolving half moon, inhale back, three, four, and five, hold it, step it back, High lunge. Let's clasp the hands behind and open the chest lift through the heart. Transitioning into warrior three with this clasp. And lower down, chest towards the right leg in clasping, standing half splits, great, hands on the ground, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, let's look under the left shoulder and under the right, Softening the back of the head, softening the face muscles. You can make a few faces with flexing and stretching the face muscles, kind of making all sound, all letter with your lips and just moving around the face. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. And here, coming back to the central axis of the body, sinking in with the breath. Inhale and we're gonna shift forward on an exhalation, come back up on an inhalation five times. Big breath in. Exhale the hands behind, clasping, opening, softening, 
softening the arm around the chest so that we can deepen this. And let's shift into warrior three. And lower down into standing half splits. Release, step it back, plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Hold the right leg up, step it through, drop the back heel down and come up to warrior two the right leg. Reverse it. Exhale, side angle. Clasping under or alternatively reaching over the head, whichever one you choose. Here we're going to turn the right foot so that it's parallel with the front of the mat and take a little side stretch here and back to side angle. If you need to pause and go back and do this, it's a new move, do so. And I'll be waiting in quadriceps hip flexor stretch here. All right, from here, left hand on the floor, right arm reaches across to grab the ankle and to further stretch the quadriceps. Breathe, exhale, let go. And you can do a little fluid move here, feeling the body and moving into the areas that want to move or need to move. Great, plank. Chaturanga, hold it. Upward facing dog, hold it for a moment. Firm the belly, Chaturanga. Down dog. Left leg comes up, step it through, drop the back heel down and come straight into warrior two. Reverse it, soften, lengthen. Give in, give in to this stretch. Exhale, lower down. Either reach ahead of you or you can clasp under, soften, open. And here you're going to turn your foot pallo to the front of the mat, left foot, lower down and stretch. This is a new and improved <laughs> martial arts stretch and it requires a lot of strength in your quads to come back up, which a lot of you probably do have. <sighs> Strong yogis. All right, hands on the inside of the left foot. All 
right hand on the floor left arm reaches up and around stretching here just move in whichever way you feel is beneficial sometimes it is softening into the body and seeing how the body wants to move what's pleasant and other times it is going in the places where you're resistant where you have to step out of your comfort zone and start expanding, start growing, exploring. Beautiful. And step it back, plank. Spread the fingers wide open. I'm really emphasizing the fingers and I will continue doing that. And I'll continue reminding you, it's easy to forget. Pull the belly in, Chaturanga. Inhale. Press your toes down, that's to protect the tailbone. So you want to feel all five toes down touching the floor. Basically the nails are on the floor. And that ensures that you're not collapsing in the tailbone area. Open. Keeping the length in the tailbone. Great. A really strong Chaturanga. Down dog. Exhale five really deep breaths go at your pace deep on them as much as you can Inhale the right leg up. Open the hip, open the knee, lift. Release it behind you in wild thing. Side plank and you can reach back and grab your ankle and open here side plank plank belly in fingers spread out chaturanga upward dog chaturanga downward dog Inhale the left leg up and open it. And drop it behind. Wild thing. Lift. Side plank. And Grab your ankle, open here, and plank, 
Spread the fingers open, pull the belly in. Lower down, Chaturanga, and drop onto your belly. Superman, reaching over the head, lifting the legs. Hands behind the head without clasping. Press your elbows back and lift. Very good, child's pose. Inhale the hands over the head. Pigeon. And lower down. Elongating the spine. Coming back to the breath, to the exhalations. Letting go as you exhale, softening. Letting go of resistance. And going deeper than that, finding what you most need to let go of. We're all, we all have a little bit of a different makeup and some of us need to let go of expectations, others have resentment, grudges, judgment. So taking it a little deeper, letting go, allowing yourself to let go in the areas that you need to let go. And in those areas where we're stuck, we're in the habit, but it doesn't serve us anymore or it's never served us maybe. When we make room and let go of something, there is space for something else to come in. So when we let go of resentment, for example, we allow, we create space for forgiveness or for love or for joy or for lightness. Whenever we let go of the ego feeling lack, the lack of things. We allow ourselves to experience perfection and destiny unfolding. When we feel out when we allow to let go of feeling out of balance, we feel the synchronicity and harmony of our existence, of the life events that led us to this moment. This moment is perfection. The blessings were the ease, the gifts, and we can use them to their fullest extension and the challenges are our springboard to continuous growth and continuous evolution inevitable change inevitable expansion of awareness Thank
coming up, lifting the chest, opening. Let's go back to down dog. Release it and open the left side. Lifting the rib cage, exhaling lower down and focus on your exhalations, letting go. Inhale, open, down dog, move the leg, Lay down onto your back slowly. Happy baby. Let's bring the legs together and over the head for plow. Walking the shoulders in, shoulder blades towards each other. Softening the neck. You can clasp your hands on the floor or find a comfortable pose here, comfortable position. Right in the space between expansion and comfort, right in that sweet spot. Mm -hmm. 
between just standing still, stagnating and pushing too far. So finding that sweet spot where the pose serves you. Hands onto the lower back, straighten the legs and take shoulder stand. And you can move the legs here. And let's bend the right knee and lead it right over the floor, left leg forward and lower down in bridge and lift back up, change sides, bending. Now the opposite knee and keeping your hands on the lower back for support and lift. Let's go. One more time. And release. Bridge pose. Clasping the hands and opening the chest, the shoulders. Slowly lower down, release onto the ground. You can bring the knees together. And now soles of the feet together, knees out. And hands on the outside of the legs. Let's rock up to sit it. Forward bend. Lengthen the back of your neck here. Coming up, hands behind you. Heels on the ground. Right hip of the floor, so the hands are to the left. Lower the forehead to the floor. Opposite side, this is a little bit like a... Humility pose, bringing the forehead to the floor, even though we're also adjusting the spine. Let's bring the right foot on the outside of the left knee and twist here. Look over your shoulder. Opposite side. Coming out. Wide legged forward fold. Belly towards the floor or on the floor. Coming up and sitting in Sukhasana, easy pose and creating a community sound where it will not happen at the same time, but it will happen in another dimension at the same time where we're all gonna own three times. If you can Create sound. Otherwise, if you have to keep quiet in your room, then just om um, quietly or in your in your mind. So we're gonna take a big breath in and go. Oh. 
taking a big breath and going into the deeper sides of your voice into the deeper belly Let's bring the hands over the heart. Hands over the third eye. Blink your eyes open. Smile. Come back to the room. Come back to your life. From this little journey that we just embarked on coming out take a nice deep breath making a commitment to keep this stillness this with internal stillness with you throughout your day to carry it into your day face the day with that internal stillness which is powerfulness or power it is gentle power and please make sure to subscribe that's the best way to support the channel Comment below, share the class, and come back here <laughs> next Sunday. I'll see you with another class. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.